Hi everybody, this is Marcus from Yak Country. Today I wanted to go through Google Earth and some of the basics, um, some of the basic settings. So Google Earth is a free software you can download. It'll look something like this. Um, I've got Google Earth Pro, which right now is free to download and use. Um, not, not much different than the baseline Google Earth, so you can have either or. Anyway, um, so what I was going to cover today is some settings and what certain things do and what how to hide show things uh, and why I do it to help uh, help be effective scouting. So first things first is some settings. So if you go to tools options, there's a couple settings that I like to play with. So First thing is elevation exaggeration. Um, it, it's a scale from basically zero to three. Um, one is the baseline, is the default. So if I were to put a two in here, the elevation would be exaggerated. So steep slopes would look steeper. Uh, deep valleys would look deeper. Um, I'm going to leave it at one because I've got this other checkbox checked. Um, so this is use high quality terrain. If I don't have that checked, typically I change that to one and a half. But considering um, I usually have this checked, it, it does a pretty fair representation of the terrain. <clears throat> um, the only downside to having this checked, and by default why it's not checked, is because it does take a little bit longer for your PC, for your internet connection to render the images. So anyway, I like to leave it at one, use high quality. If you want to go faster, uncheck that. I like to put one and a half in there. Um, that's, that's about the only setting that I have. The other stuff is basically kind of like a hide show. So, in my blog, on my website, I go through all of the stuff that I have shown. So I'm not going to go through everything. A few of the important ones are geographic features, bodies of water, um, roads. I like to keep these visible. Um, they're basically photos that anyone can tag and place on geographic features, or they basically place them and name them. Um, <clears throat> Every once in a while you'll get lucky and you'll see something that a hiker saw a herd of elk or uh, you know something that is a telltale sign that there are animals in the area. Um, you can also tell, at least get a rough idea of access. So if there's a lot of photographs tagged in an area, you may want to double think that because likely there's going to be other hunters there. Um, may or may not, but, um, and then a few other things, there's some forest service, um, stuff that I show, and then the bottom one is terrain, um, that's basically, this becomes visible when you add this, use high quality terrain, then you have this ability to turn it on or off out here. Um, so those are my layers. Again, check out my blog. It goes through all of them. Um, the search pane, I mean, you type in something like a lake name or a mountain top. Usually it finds it. It's pretty hit or miss with geographic features. Um, towns, it's pretty, it's pretty solid. And you just type it in, hit enter or search, it'll fly you there. Um, <clears throat> so a few of the other things that are handy so I just kind of made this uh, fake area I just picked somewhere here in Colorado um, navigation wise left click is pan so as you click with your left hand side it's gonna pan the roller in the middle you roll that in and out, it's zoom in and out, and then you press down on that 
roller, you have the ability to tilt. So you can do just about anything just with the mouse. Um, some people like to use these navigation up here. Um, I don't typically only use that to um, clock north. Anyway, um, all right. So again, I just picked this area. I've got trailheads shown. So here you can see there's a trailhead. Um, this is also a Forest Service boundary. This is public land. Um, so a place mark is something as similar to like a waypoint. So you can place it anywhere. You can name it whatever you want. You can set an icon. Um, you know, you could have certain icons for, um, you know, camp. You could have the little tent. Certain geographic features or whatever. You could have circles or squares or whatever. You can make it bigger, smaller. You can make it transparent. Change the opacity. Add notes to it. <clears throat> um, you can see here. This is kind of what I do. Is all. You know, flag, that's where my camp is. And you can either just type in latitude, longitude from your GPS. You can import your waypoints from your GPS. Um, or you can just kind of say, knowing the terrain, uh, I was set up right there. Um, so that's place marks. I'll typically name them by year so I can kind of organize them by outing, by year by outing. So you know, if I'm going to the same area, I can hide 2014. I can hide 2015, whatever. So I don't have a bunch of place marks there telling me where the elk are in different years. Um, sometimes that's nice though to see, you know, every year there's a big wallow right down here or whatever. Um, so that's place marks. Uh, couple down is paths. So this is one of the other um, nice features of Google Earth is a path. So you can just kind of click. And I changed the uh, the default style and color on mine, so it's a little bit wider and it's a it's a red color, so it's easier to see. I think by default it's it's narrow and it's like white, I believe. <clears throat> but you can create a path. The only thing is you can't zoom using your mouse or excuse me, pan. So you have to pan using this. Let me just draw this in. If you right click, it will remove points. If you misplace one, you can grab it and stretch it across, but if you want to add points in between, you just click in between. So you can go here and get a rough idea of the length of the path, which is about 2.9 miles. Um, granted, that's probably not right on the uh, on the line. So what I can, or excuse me, on the on the path on the physical trail in real life but this is just an example. So when you right, you can right click the path, any path, once you have it created and you can show elevation profile and it will physically show you the distance, elevation gain loss, max slope, average slope, and as you kinda move your mouse along there, you can see a pointer, it shows you basically grade or the slope. You can see your high points, your low points, so you can see this is pretty gradual, but it is a pretty good climb from 7,000 all the way up to 9,000 feet, roughly. Which is shown right there, about 2,000. Um, and then you can just close out of those. Those are kind of handy to tell, you know, maybe there's a trailhead over here, and I can hike in from either direction. You can kind of 
side by side compare which way is going to be the easiest for me. Um, <clears throat> so that's just a rough path just to kind of show you what it is. In the next video I'll show you how I actually place them on a real trail and how I find that real trail with some topo maps. Um, let's see. Uh, one other thing to show you is historical imagery. So, in a lot of the older images, um, you well, the older images have they're all stored in Google Earth. So you can look at an area what it looked like, you know, back in 2011. <clears throat> Granted, with older pictures you'll see stuff like this so that's a cloud that the satellite saw and that's the clouds shadow so dark areas and clouds used to be a big problem they aren't so much anymore but say if uh, say if you did see a snowy area area covered in snow I'm not gonna be hunting in the winter time I'm gonna be hunting in September so I wanna see you know the terrain when it's green where I can see watering holes and all sorts of stuff. So sometimes if it's if the image is covered in snow, I can revert to an older image. It might be a little bit more pixelated or blurry or a little bit less clear, but at least I don't have snow in the way. Um Those are those are the primary features that I wanted to introduce. Again, in my next video, I'm going to go over um, how to import overlays. So, stuff like property boundaries, um, game management units, um, topography. So, import topo maps. Um, yeah. So, thanks for watching. Uh, check out my website. Again, check out my blog. I've, I've got a, uh, a blog series that's going to follow this series of videos. So, uh, God bless. Happy hunting.